Hungarian musical accent, I think, is actually coming from the Hungarian accent because it's deeply related to language. Our language is like none other language. It's a, a very special way of emphasizing things in a sentence. Same is true for music. Our words are different lengths than other languages. Uh, the structure in uh, grammar is different. You want it or not, if you're a Hungarian composer, uh, even if you're writing music without words, it's still in your music. This to be the, the red thread, kind of like all the way from Kodai Bartók through Ligeti, Kurtag, Ötvös and uh, myself, the new generation of composers in Hungary. Uh, so there is definitely something that we can call a Hungarian musical language is or was started by giants like Béla Bartók or Zoltán Kodály. I mean, it's a big pressure, first and foremost. But what remains constant, I think, is, is the perspective of Hungarian musicians of what's happening in the world. Everybody who uh, started, restarted the uh, story of Umze wanted to create the perfect vehicle for new Hungarian music. It's unavoidable for people to compare Umze to Ensemble Modern or Ensemble Tech Contemporain or other leading ensembles of the genre around the world. And I can say we're happily ready for that. The most important thing about this is I would like to define Umze as artistic director, as an ensemble that can really venture out into very different styles and genres. I'm trying not to put Umze in a cage like it has happened to many ensembles. You go around in the uh, festival circles and they always ask you to do the same thing again and again and again because you're doing it well, right? I like to believe that we are doing a lot of things well and I also deeply believe that contemporary music is pretty much everything that is existing now and that is good enough to be presented in front of a live audience. And composers who write in different styles are living today and they have something to say. Come to Umze and we're going to play your music and we're going to make our best effort to help you get your message through to the audience, regardless of what uh, style or genre you're composing in.
Ez egészen máshogy közös akarat, amit mi munkamorálként értelmezünk. És ebben, ebben jelen lenni, ebben részt venni minden alkalommal üdítő, felpesdítő. Egészen más az embernek egy ilyen csapatban, mert ez csapatként tud működni. Mi itt azért az umzéban mindenki egy kicsi szólista is. Van, aki kevésbé, van, aki jobban, ebből vannak néha surlódások, hát szintén üdítő és, és hát derűs percek, <gül> és ebben nagyon-nagyon-nagyon jó részt venni. Persze szólisztikusabb, és mindig sokkal több kihívás van. Ez a rengeteg ős bemutató, ez az a hely, ahol nem lehet unatkozni, nem lehet belefásulni ezekbe az elégbe. that was invented for is to actually present uh, music that cannot be heard in other circumstances uh, or in front of a different audience uh, with a different medium. So uh, playing Schoenberg and playing Webern and the so-called classics of the avant-garde music is a constant uh, challenge for us and it needs to be there. The Bartók Ötvös Kurtaglány, when we grow up, it is all around us. I find, of course, an affinity towards this usage of gestures. Being a strict servant of the composer in terms of tempo markings, in terms of uh, dynamic markings, and really trying to get behind the score and, and seeing what the composer's intention was in a very specific Hungarian way, I would say. I find that when I go to other countries and play, sometimes I really have to turn in a translation application in my head in terms of mu musical uh, ideas because For, for somebody, let's say, from Germany, Ireland or England, they have a completely different upbringing with, with a completely different heritage and uh, one doesn't need to do it in the Ums Ensemble.
by saying that we're open to other things, I, I'm trying to say, oh, look, we found a Yana piece, we found an Utwish piece, we found a Kurtak piece, a Ligeti piece that we really love. And we want to put this in a room, on a wall of a room with other paintings, other artwork around it, where it really shines. When I say I'm the curator of this museum, this is what it means for me to be the artistic director of a museum. No prejudice. Uh, doesn't matter where you're coming from, bring me your music. And th if I find something in it that I think is important to be presented, that I will do the best I can and Umza will do the best we can to put it out there and make it look the best and make it get to the people that are out there, regardless of where you're coming from, regardless of what style you prefer. You could be experimental, you could be neo-romantic. Uh, it doesn't really matter as long as what you're saying is honest and as long as what you're saying, what you're trying to say is speaking to us here and now, meaning it's contemporary.
we are not just here to uh, take and give, absorb, and and try to project what's happening around us. But I want Umza to be able to generate uh, what's happening in this business. We would like to uh, give things that you couldn't imagine that existed before. And if Bela Bartok walked in the door today, I want him to just stand there for a couple of minutes silently, watch and listen and say, okay, that's good. I want to, I want to, I want to be part of this. I want to be here. And, and uh, this is exactly what I wanted to do uh, at the beginning of the 20th century with my Umza.